Hey everybody, Bruce here, and I wanted to take this opportunity, hopefully it won't take too long, to show you some additional features in Visual Studio Code that you may not be uh, aware of, and one of them is gonna be super important as you uh, do your work with Problem Set 1. So let me show you right now, okay? Let's say you're working on your code and you can see here, I have uh, like a decision structure and some uh, variable assignments, a print statement and another print statement, right? Now, let's say you did one of the problems on the problem set and now you wanna check to see how like good or bad your code was formatted. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make here on line number 14, I'm gonna make it a little sloppy, all right? I'm gonna do things like this, and where else? I'll just, I don't know, uh, I'll push this over here like that. And again, my coding is not consistent, right? And let me actually do one more thing right there, and maybe, maybe right there, all right? So, my code's gonna work because I'm gonna run it. In fact, this code is called grade.py. So I'm gonna go to the terminal and run grade.py just to make sure it runs, right? Just to make sure it runs. And I'll enter 99 and uh, program done, I got an A, right? That's cool. Now what I wanna do, now that my code runs, I wanna head up here in Visual Studio Code and I wanna click on this thing called Style 50, Style 50, right? And when I click on it, uh, another tab opens and you'll notice like right here on line 14, right there on line 17 and throughout the code, it's going to tell me like to like do certain things or it's going to suggest to make certain changes. And of course, I get a phone call during make the making of this video. So watch right up here where it says apply changes or explain changes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on explain changes because I wanna know like what's going on. So the rubber duck debugger is going to explain here, right, all of the code and why it's proposing some of the changes in green. And sometimes you'll see things in red, meaning that it wants you to remove some lines, all right? So after you carefully go through and learn from the duck debugger AI telling you like why it wants to make these changes, you can go up here on the upper right, right up here and say apply changes and boom, it makes your code style just the way that it needs to be, all right? So that's point number one I wanted to make. You saw this rubber duck debugger here. This is some AI and you can ask this duck, the duck debugger, questions like if you want to know more about um, conditionals in Python, you can ask it a question. It'll do its best to act like me or a tutor to help you along and to give you the knowledge you need to solve the problem. Next, what I wanna show you is let's say you have this line right here, line 14, right? Line 14, right there. And you're like, what's this line do? Like, what's this thing do, right? And you can highlight a bunch of lines, but I only highlighted one. I'm gonna right click and say, explain highlighted code. And what it's gonna do is it's going to the rubber duck, the duck debugger. I keep saying rubber duck because there they are sitting right in front of me. But here it is built into Visual Studio Code. And there it is, right? It tells you exactly what that statement is doing, just like I would if we met, you know, in a classroom or on Zoom or our or our tutor would, all right? So we got the duck debugger, right? We have style 50, right? Uh, we have explain code by right clicking, right? And that's kind of all the things I wanted you to know in this video. So be sure to give it a like, as they say, or leave a comment and, um, I hope this video helped, all right? You take care.